Praise the Lord, everybody. I'm Bishop Leo Mark here at Mark Christian Minutes of Jesus Christ. God got a word for you today. Have it ever been in your life seem like you've been knocking and you want doors to open up for you and seem like doors would not open for you? God wants you to be persistent in your knocking. So whatever you do, continue to knock and see what God got for you on the other side. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And if you continue to be knocking and be persistent, God will allow beautiful things to come into your life. You never know what's on the other side of that door. Come with us as we get ready to join and join with us with this word in Mark Christian Ministry of Jesus Christ. God bless you. Be persistent. Keep on praying. Yeah, good. Let, let, let me revise that. Keep on praying is my title today. Keep on praying keep on praying Amen. coming from matthew 7 you, and 7 you may have your seats in the prison of the lord amen we want to welcome our e-church praise god this morning praise amen. god we want to welcome them amen. amen those that are watching from social media praise god we welcome you here to mark christian ministry where god is making a mark in people lives that cannot be erased praise god amen our title today is keep on praying praise god Jesus said, praise God, in Matthew 7, 7 through 8, he said, Ask, and it shall be given unto you. Seek, and you shall find. Knock, and it shall be opened unto you. For everyone that asks it, receive it. And he that seek it, find it. And to him that knock it, shall be open. Mm -hmm. He says in Matthew 3 and 20, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice, hear my voice and open the door, he says, I will come into him and I will sup with him and he with me. Mm -hmm. I want to talk to you this morning about uh, persistent prayers, uh -huh. persistent prayers, right. persistent prayers. Prayers is the key to opening doors, Amen. persistent prayers, mm -hmm. knock, knock. Who's, who's there? there? <laughs> Y'all remember that? Knock, knock, who's there? I, I, I say Jesus is there. And he stands at the door, praise God, and knock. And he says, if any man hears his voice and open the door, he will come in and sup with him and he with him. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Let us keep on knocking. And whatever you do, keep on asking. Yeah. Uh, let us turn to Luke 18 and 1 through 8. Luke 18, 1 through 8. And he, Jesus, spake a parable unto them to this end. That men ought to always to pray. Somebody say pray. pray. And to not faint. Saying, there was in a city a judge which feared not God neither regarded men. And there was a widow in that city and she came unto him, Jesus, uh, uh, to, um, to him, the judge, amen, saying, avenge me of my enemy or adversary. And he would not for a while, the judge would not. But afterwards, amen, said within himself, the judge within himself, thou, I fear not God, nor regard men. Yet because this widow Trouble me, uh huh. Uh, why did she trouble him? Because she had persistence with her accent. Right. Amen. This widow troubled me. I will advance her, lest by her continuing, persisting, coming, she worried me. She got on his nerve right. because she was persisting. Yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. God, Lord, looking for some people, praise God, that would get on his nerve. My uh, God. Right, right, right. 
Oh my God. Ain't a man and a woman have a nerve. <laughs> and, and if someone, praise God, punch that certain nerve, praise God, it would trouble you. And this judge, praise God, with his nerve, amen, this woman knew how to punch that certain spot. Come on, come on, come on, come on. God is looking for some people that got a prayer, praise God, that can hit a certain spot in heaven, praise God, to make God stand up on his throne and say, yes, my daughter, yes, my son, Amen. my God, my God. And he says, hallelujah. And that the Lord said, hear what the unjust judge said. Mm -hmm. Should not God advance his only elect, which cry day and night unto him, though he bear long with them? Uh-huh. I tell you that he would advance them speedily. Mm -hmm. Nevertheless, when the Son of Man come or coming, should he find faith on earth? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Whatever you do, keep on praying. Amen. Keep on praying. Yes. Amen. We say in this time, praise God. Amen. We use a slogan, keep it moving. Yeah. <laughs> but I want to tell you, God is saying, keep on praying. Yeah, I want to talk to you about four types of prayers. On, four types of prayers. For those of you that are writing, there are many more, but I want to talk to you specifically about these four that God put into my spirit to release unto you. I want to talk to you about persisting prayer. Uh -huh. Number one, hallelujah, persisting prayers. And then I want to talk to you uh, about the second one or the second prayer, which is fervent prayer. I want to talk to you about fervent prayer. And the third one, I want to talk to you about knocking prayer. Uh, Amen. Knocking prayer. And the last, the fourth one, I want to talk to you about mountain moving prayers. Yes. Praise God. Yes. Number one, persisting prayer. This is a everyday prayer. Uh, Something you need to pray for every day. There are certain prayers that you should pray Every day. Amen. Amen. And many of times, praise God, we pray, amen, uh, or we should be praying at least three times a day. Amen. Amen. Uh, uh, Daniel prayed four times a day. Amen. Tell God, thank you. Uh, we're in a, uh, a, a fast and prayer, a uh, uh, 21 day fast and prayer, praise God, where the Lord got me praying every three hours. Amen. Oh my God. Amen. 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 What God is trying to do, God is trying to develop a relationship with a relationship with you that prayer, this is what prayer do. Prayer is a communication yeah. tool between you and God. Amen. Amen. You spending time with God. And Amen. part of this prayer, when you pray and praise God, you need to be listening. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Not so much what you're saying, but listen what God is saying to you. Amen. Hallelujah. Proceed persistent prayer uh, uh, every day. Amen. We need to be praying unto the Lord about our life. We need to be praying to the Lord about uh, our health and thanking him for our health and thanking him for our strength. This should be part of your everyday prayer. Praying for protection and covering. This should be part of your everyday prayer. Praying for your family and your friend. Praying that he will bless you going out and he will bless you coming in. There are certain things that we should pray unto the Lord every day Amen. without missing a beat. Hallelujah. Without saying I forgot to do this and I forgot to do that and I forgot Amen. to pray. Now, anytime you say you forget to pray, that means you forget to stop by God's house. You, you forget to stop by, I mean, to talk with the Lord. Can you imagine, Deacon uh, uh, Mog, that my, my wife would say, amen, if I came to her, I forgot to come home last night. My God, no excuse. I forgot to call her. I forgot to text her. Come on here, somebody. And we do God any kind of way. We forget to send God a tweet. We forget to communicate with God. We forget God on Instagram. Some of you post about everything else, but won't post a scripture. Won't post how good God is to you. Won't, won't tell God on Instagram or Facebook, I thank you, Lord. People need to see the light in you. People need to see you, the prayer in you. Come on here. As the word of God say, I glorify myself before men. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory 
to God, that I may glorify my Father which is in heaven. Come on, come on, come on. Let your light shine before me. That's good. That's the word. That you may glorify your Father which is in heaven. And I'm talking to somebody today. Hallelujah. How can you tweet about everything else and don't tweet about God? Hello, somebody. Glory to God. Persistent prayer. There should be certain prayers, praise God. You should ask God every day, Lord, lead me not into temptation, but deliver me from evil. Those are, should be everyday prayers. Hallelujah. You wonder why thing, you get tripped up on things, then you pray about it. Hallelujah. Because if you pray about certain things, praise God, God will sustain you, at least prepare you. Not saying, praise God, because you pray, you won't enter some things. Yeah, yeah. Come on here, somebody. Jesus prayed, but the Spirit of the Lord led him into the wilderness. Doesn't yeah. mean, praise God, just because you pray, God won't lead you into some things, praise God, to be tested, or your faith to be tested. But when you pray, he will prepare you for it. God, but when you pray, praise God, he'll give you strength to go through it. Some things, praise God, you need to just go through it. Mama can't help you. Daddy can't help you. Your brother can't help you. Your best friend can't help you. Your pastor can't help you. Some stuff you just got to go through so that you can see the, how good the living God really is. So you can see that you can come out like Shackrack and Meshack and the Bendigo, not smelling like smoke. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Some people look at us as believers of Christ, and some of us know, praise God. Uh, uh, some folks, praise God, look at us and say, do you ever get upset? Do you yeah. ever get mad just because we smile every day? Amen. Hallelujah. They don't understand, praise God, behind our smile, we can be hurting. We can be going through some things. But because the Holy Ghost strengthened us, and because we got word in us, and just like James said, count it all joy when you go into the different types of temptation. We count it joy. Oh my God, I feel like preaching today. The second one is fervent prayer. The Bible says in James 5 and 16, confess your faults one to another. Hallelujah. And pray one for another that you may be healed. Fervent prayer is going to bring healing to you. When your bodies attack, or COVID attack you, or uh, common cold attack you, or uh, disease or illness attack you, it is the fervent prayer that gets you through. Come on, this on. Come on. That's good. Y'all ain't hear me tonight. That's good. It's the fervent prayer that strengthens you and protect you and cover you. Come on here, somebody. Amen. The effectual prayer of a righteous man, the Bible say, a velvet mud. Uh -huh. Amen. Exceptual. That word means bounding prayer. Amen. Binding prayer. The Bible said, whatsoever you bound on heaven, he'll bind it in uh, bound on earth, he'll bind it in heaven. And whatsoever you loose on earth, he'll loose it in heaven. The, the effectual prayer is a I bind that devil in the name of Jesus. Amen. To loose my family. Yes. To loose my daughter. Y'all ain't hearing me. Y'all ain't hearing me today. Amen. To loose my business unto me. Sometimes that devil try to tie up your business. Oh, y'all ain't hearing me. That devil try to tie up your opportunity. Hallelujah. You got to bind that devil. Come on here, somebody. The other word is fervent. That word means intense. It's sexual fervent. Binding intense prayer. God is looking for us to have a binding. In order for you to bind something in the name of Jesus, God is giving you an authority. And the only way you get that authority is by the Holy Ghost. How you gonna try to bind up the devil and you ain't got the Holy Ghost? That devil tell you, Paul, we know, Jesus, we know, but who are you? You coming in the name of Paul. Right, yeah, right, right. But you need to come in the name of Jesus. Y'all are hearing me. And there's power in the name of Jesus. You got to know how to bind that devil. Come on here with some fervent prayer. I'm going to preach it to somebody in there. Somebody say, bind that devil. Bind COVID. Bind 
sing praise God cancel. Y'all yeah, yeah. ain't hearing me today. And I'm preaching to somebody today. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The third one is knocking prayer. Amen. Knocking prayer. Oh, yeah. God wants us to have a knocking prayer. Hallelujah. This is the breakthrough prayer. Jesus. There are some things, praise God, in your life, praise God, will be a, a, a come to, to have a hardness to it. Yes. Uh -huh. You know, it's like, it's like it's hard to get through this and uh -huh. hard to get through that. Uh -huh. amen. amen. And sometimes, praise God, uh -huh. amen, in certain regions, praise God, there are regional devils yeah. and regional demons. Uh -huh. And they have a certain area, praise God, that they govern and they try to right. try to uh, take up uh, uh, power in certain regions and certain yeah. cities. Yeah. And so, God, sometimes I send you to a city or region or a county, praise God, yeah. to deal with this kind of demon. Yeah. And when you're dealing with this kind of demon or this kind of spirit, praise God, you got to keep on knocking. Yeah. Come on, somebody. You got to break through with a breakthrough prayer. Yeah. Come on, somebody. This kind of prayer... You pray when something has a stronghold on you. <laughs> this kind of prayer, praise God, that you need, praise God, when smoking is your issue. Amen. 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 My God, a breakthrough prayer. This is kind of prayer, praise God, with substance abuse and, and, and drugs and cocaine and, and crack and, and all kind of things like that have a stronghold on you. Yeah. This is the kind of prayer you need, praise God, when lust is your issue. Come on, man. Oh, y'all hear me. The lady at the well, praise God, needed a breakthrough prayer. She had been with so many different husbands, praise God, and Jesus said the one that she got now is not a husband. That shook her spirit. That broke her spirit. Y'all ain't hearing me. There are things, some prayers you need, which is a knocking prayer. This kind of knocking that takes a perseverance that you don't give up just because you ask one time. Some things you got to come back and be knocking. And some things you got to knock, knock, knock. Y'all ain't hearing me. Some things you got to knock, knock, knock. So that Jesus will say, who's there? Amen. Oh. My God, my God. This is the kind of prayer you, you say, it's me, it's me, it's me, oh Lord. Not my brother, not my sister, it's me, oh Lord. Standing in the need of. I think I'm preaching to somebody today. Hallelujah. A knock, knock prayer. Knocking prayer. Holler, this is the kind of prayer you need, praise God, to open doors for you. If there's doors, praise God, there's doors, there's doors. Every one of us, praise God, we have different doors that we're dealing with, and there's revolving doors. There, there are some things, praise God, for your destiny. God is saying, get through the first door, and I'll open the next door. Y'all ain't hearing me. But some of us, we're so afraid to go through the first door, not knowing that God got blessings behind the second door. And sometimes when you walk through the second door, God got a blessing for you behind the third door. This is the person that's opening the first business and then the second business. And then wonder what's going on in the third business. Y'all ain't hearing me. This is the person that get the first degree and wonder how they get the second degree. And God is waiting on you to get the third degree. Y'all ain't hearing me. Oh my God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody say knock knock. Knock knock. Who's there? Who's there? Jesus. Jesus. My God, my God. The fourth and last one. What? It's mountain moving prayer. My God. This kind of prayer you need a mustard seed faith to get through. Amen. Tell God thank you. You got to believe God for, for this kind of prayer. My God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You got to pick up your faith with you. See, there's a lot of people that have prayer or can pray, yeah. but don't have faith. Oh, yeah. That's good. That's good. I'm praying for That's you. Good. You're praying, good. But, but, yeah. but, but I didn't feel their prayer. Oh. Oh, y'all ain't hear me. Oh. But there are some people when they pray, like, when they pray, Jesus said, Who touched me? Yeah. My God, I'm feeling like running up again. Hallelujah. This woman with the issue of blood, praise God. She had a fervent prayer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God, my God. My God. She had a persistent prayer. She had a fervent prayer. She had a knocking prayer. And she had a mind moving prayer. She had all four of these keys. Y'all ain't hearing me. She had it so strong and intense. Yeah. And with power, when she touched not Jesus, yeah. but it's him. Yeah. She said, I ain't got to touch him. If I can touch what he got on. Yeah. Oh. 
I know I'll be made whole. Y'all ain't hearing me today. Some of you, God is saying, if you get this in your spirit, God is saying you can touch the remnants of the Lord. Hallelujah. And God is saying he'll come into your house. He'll come into your home. He'll come into your marriage. He'll come into your life. He'll do whatever you ask him to do. He'll just kind of mountain move in his prayer. And I'm talking to somebody today. Jesus, Jesus. That's good. Mustard seed. You need a mustard seed. That's good. Faith with your prayer. Tell God, thank you. Matthew 17 and 19 through 20. Jesus said, Then came the disciples to Jesus apart. I'm almost done. And said, Why could not we cast him out, this devil? Tell God, thank you. And Jesus said unto him, because of your unbelief. Yeah. See, some people can pray, but they don't believe. Right. Tell God, thank you. Thank you. you must believe. Tell God, thank you. Thank you. Jesus says, for verily or truly I say unto you, if you have faith as a grain of a mustard seed, right. you should say unto this mountain, remove his or to yonder place, and it shall remove. Yes. And nothing shall be impossible to you with must have seen faith. Jesus. Nothing. nothing. I don't care how I look, nothing, nothing shall be impossible to you. How do I got mountain must have seen? See, yeah. the mountain is something big. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the kind of faith that David had. Yeah, 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 yeah. One rock. And Goliath. A little boy with mountain moving faith. Oh, my God. He out there bringing vigils and bread and nuts and honey and, and some greens and some beans. I'm paraphrasing for him. <laughs> Tell God thank you. To his brothers, I'm on the front line of war. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And Goliath, this big old giant, come out there and, and, and taught them. Uh -huh. And see little David and say, oh, Look at y'all brought this little old Rudy out here uh -huh. to fight me. And David turned around and said, who is this uncircumcised Philistine that's coming up against the, the army of the Lord? Yeah. This kind of faith. That this yeah. little, see, some children got more faith than oh. some of y'all adults. Come on, preacher. Yeah. So true. Come on. Yeah. Some kids got more faith than their mama. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Real, some little God. boys got more faith than their daddy. Real, my God. God, my God, my God. Yes, sir. Must have seen faith. Have seen Tell God thank you. Thank you Lord. In Daniel's chapter 10, verse 12. And I'm closing. That's good. I'm reading from you from the CEV version. The contemporary English version. Virgin. Contemporary English version. Daniel's chapter 10, verse 12. The Bible said, Daniel, he said, Daniel, don't be afraid. Listen to what the angel said unto Daniel. God has listened to your prayers since the first day you humbly asked for understanding. The first time you pray, good pray, God hear you. Yes, sir, man. Yes, sir. The first day. First day. But you got to understand something. When you pray, oh, yeah. Demons and spirits yeah. gather together to try to block what you're praying for. Yes, Amen. And so that's why there's a spiritual warfare yes, going on. Yes, sir. Get this wisdom, get this knowledge. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And that's why some prayers, praise God, you pray for, you don't get it today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't get it tomorrow. Yeah. You don't get it in three days. My God. Sometimes God have an appointed time for you to receive what you My prayed for. God. Please understand something. They heard Daniel or the Lord heard Daniel the first day. Amen. But the prayer uh, didn't come or the end of the prayer didn't come but until the 24th day. Y'all ain't hearing me. Y'all ain't hearing me. Yeah. And so for 21 days, this man fasting and praying for 21 days and hear nothing. Jesus. Amen. Glory to God. Lord. Uh -huh. And the angel of God, Gabriel, showed up at the 21st day. 
or after the 21st day uh -huh. to give Daniel revelation. This right here alone should make you have patience with God. Amen. Right. Yes, sir. Right. And they that wait upon the Lord yes. should renew their strength. Yes, Come on, with somebody. Hallelujah. The Bible said, He said, Don't be afraid. God listened to your prayers since the first day. You humbly asked for understanding. And He sent me, oh my God, here. He sent me here. But the guarding angel of Persia opposed me for 21 days. He said, the might, he says, uh, then Michael, the archangel Michael, my God, he said, then Michael, who is one of the strongest guardian and angels, came to rescue me from the king of Persia. He said, now I have come here to give you another vision about what you, uh, by what would happen to your people in the future. For 21 days, Daniel petitioned God for an answer. Will you have persistent prayer? God is looking for some people with persistent prayer. Whatever you do, keep on praying. God is saying to you, whatever you do, keep never give up in your prayer. Hallelujah, because God heard you the first day. Don't allow the enemy to, to have bring doubt in your mind because what you prayed for, you didn't hear it about it the next day or it didn't manifest the second day or the third day yes. or the second week or the third week. Yes. Don't let the enemy bring doubt in your mind that God did not hear you. He heard you on the first day. Yes. As soon as you set your heart to, unto the Lord, the prayer unto the Lord, he heard you. Amen. So God is saying to us today, be persistent. Thank you. Be fervent, be knocking, and be moving. God bless you. We want to thank those that are joining us and have joined us from the future. We thank God for you for joining us with this word today. We ask that you continue to pray, and we want you to know here at Mark Christian Ministry of Jesus Christ, we pray for you and your family. God bless you. Praise God. Thank you all for joining us this Sunday. Uh, it's been a blessing, praise God. I hope you enjoyed this word, praise God. And please remember, continue to be consistent with your prayers and watch God open the doors for you. There are so many doors that God want to open. There are revolving doors. Sometimes God wants you to walk through one door, praise God, that he can get you through the next and the next and the next. Some of you want to open businesses. God want to build that foundation and that business for you and then the next business and the next business so that God will build a franchise in your life. Whatever you do, continue to be persistent. Continue to knock. Watch what God do in your life. Thank you very much for joining us this Sunday. God bless you.